Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick um a quick one on how to test and fix that little alternator. And these little alternators go to these regulators. Okay, now these we see absolutely everywhere. See, okay, so I don't know if you can see, there's a whole row of junk engines right there. And every one of these things has one of those little alternators on it. Each and they, they all got it. And so this, this is like the most common little alternator setup. I'm sure that one's got it. Yeah, because I pulled a regulator off of it from back there. Okay, so, so the normal problem that people end up with is their battery's not charging. They've got that and that. Okay, so the question is, is how do we test? Okay, so this is what you do. You start with your multimeter set on DC volts. Okay, now, as long as we're on the meter, you need to be able to switch this meter from DC volts to AC volts. Okay, some of this one here has just one volt area. So I change that one by hitting select. And then, that, and then if I hit select, now I'm on AC. See, it says AC right there. Okay, I can, I can go again. It gives me some other function and I'll get back around to DC volts. It probably has three or four different functions. That's one way. Some of them rotate. The little line with, uh, the little line with three dots, that's DC. The little wiggly, that's AC. Okay, we need both for this testing. So you start, come over to your battery, check with the engine running if you're getting up to 14.2 volts. If you're going over 14.2 volts, not much, like if you're going up 15, 16, that means your regulator is stuck on. We'll come back to that. If, on the other hand, you're still sitting there at like 12.2, something like that, the same voltage that you end up with when you're not running the engine, when the engine's off, you check voltage and you probably have like 12.2, 12.6, something in that neighborhood. Okay, you start the engine, the voltage doesn't go up. The first thing you do, come to your alternator. Make sure the belt's on. Make sure that it's semi-tight. Look at this. These dogs, they just won't leave you alone. They're just like, come on, Dad. What are you talking to these people for? Okay, get to the wires coming out of the alternator. Most of the time, they're two blue wires. This is actually a little two-phase alternator, amazingly enough. Alternators produce alternating current. That's why we have to be on AC. Measure the voltage with the engine running on these two wires the two wires coming out of this alternator. If you see something like 22, 26 volts, that means it's just open circuit. That means that the, the alternator is producing voltage, but the voltage isn't going anywhere. Okay, if the voltage, if you have no voltage, if you have no voltage, the engine's running, the alternator's spinning, then that means, uh, um, uh, that means um, the alternator's bad. Okay, so replace the alternator. Okay, but, if you have voltage, now we come over to this little system right here. Okay, so <laughs> this dog, look at this thing, come on. Okay, okay, go, go, go. That's Luna, by the way. Okay, you come over to this little guy. Okay, this one here, I just uh, I just rewired it, and I took this off of a wrecked engine, and uh, and they had they had that and that on there when I bought this thing, and uh, that was triggering the light. That was some riddle. none of it worked. Okay, so. So you come over to your regulator, come into this side here. See how you can reach in and touch those wires? Again, check on AC, the two blue wires. If you have voltage here on AC voltage coming out of the alternator, but you don't have it here, well, then you got a wiring fault. Wouldn't be a surprise with all this mess going here, okay? But, um, and these things, you know, you see these things all the time. Okay, if you have, if you have voltage on the two blue wires coming in, next, go to the red and the black and check on DC. Now you should have 14.2 volts coming out on DC. In order to get that voltage, this regulator needs to be told to turn on. So it needs ignition power on this yellow wire. Okay, if the yellow wire doesn't have power, the regulator won't turn on and you still will get nothing out of the regulator. Okay, but if you have, if you have AC voltage at like your 26 volts or whatever it is, coming in these two blue wires, and your yellow wire has ignition voltage, and you have no voltage coming out, the red and the black wire, then this regulator is bad. 
And then that means you need a uh, um, need to replace the regulator. Not much in there that you can fix. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the system. I think that covers all possibilities. The other thing is is that there is this other wire over here. This green wire, the green wire, this green wire here that goes to the uh, that goes to the light. And so, what you should see, light is on, light is off, light is on. Start the engine. Light goes off. Shut the engine off. Light comes back on. Okay. That light, one more thing, I'll just close with this. One more thing, if you're going along and the light goes on, you need to kind of stop pretty quick because the other possibility is, is that the fan belt right here broke, which is oftentimes running your water pump. So the engine's in imminent danger of overheating. So that's the other reason that your light might come on. Okay, that's it. Hope it helps somebody. Bye-bye.